you know, I'm the kind of guy that I think I'm happiest when I'm, you know, hanging off the edge of a cliff, or I'm under under the ground, you know, worming through a tunnel, or under the water, uh, you know, exploring a new reef. That's where I actually, you know, feel myself most alive, and I try to capture that in my books. You know, adventure and travel, it's part of my life, it's part of my books. But to be honest with you, you know, most of it I usually get into trouble. I've broken four bones, I've split a, uh, my lip, I've cracked a tooth, I've got a mild concussion. Uh, one time I was swimming in a jungle river, not realizing I was swimming right next to a crocodile that was lazily basking in the sun on the bank. And I ended up incorporating that sort of moment of terror in my book Amazonia. Another time I was uh, caving and I got stuck in a chute. I was there for about four hours and unable to get out. And trust me, that's the point you really believe in claustrophobia. And I really sort of got a sense of what claustrophobia is like. And I ended up incorporating that into my book Subterranean. So all my travels end up being uh, in my books. And Doomsday Key is no exception. Well, my background is in evolution or biology. And from there, I went to veterinary school. And though I do write full time now, I still uh, practice some veterinary medicine. It's mostly volunteer work. And so as a consequence, there's a lot of animals in my book, along with a lot of medicine, a lot of science, a lot of biology. A lot of my characters have animal sidekicks, from an orphan jaguar cub to a wolf rescue dog. Even in Doomsday Key, my latest novel, I've got a scruffy terrier, I've got a bunch of uh, polar bears that are pretty hungry, and so they all play a pretty key role in that story. So whether they're ordinary animals, like uh, this dog here, or some extraordinary animals, it's always going to be animals in my books. Now I do write scientific thrillers, and since I'm writing scientific thrillers, I'm always looking for that piece of science that ends in a what if, something that intrigues me that hopefully will intrigue, intrigue uh, my readers. My latest book, Doomsday Key, I bring up the controversy about genetically modified foods and the lack of regulation in that industry. Uh, those things really interest me. I'm just I'm always exploring scientific journals, whether it's Scientific America, Discover Science. I'm always sort of culling through those magazines, looking for things that really intrigue me. I cut them out, I save them, I start trying to find ways of incorporating those into the into the book. Basically, I found that you know technology does service a thriller very well, but it's not so much the cogs and the wheels of that technology that really is, makes the story fascinating. What really makes it stick is how that technology tests the moral compass of those characters, tests the human condition. For me, a great novel is a book that has a lot of action in it, so that it gets your heart pumping, gets your training pages well into the night, but needs to have more weight behind it. That's what I try to do with my novel, so that when you finish that novel, turn that last page, close that cover, you're left with something to think afterwards, so that it sort of matters to you personally. If I can achieve that in a novel, I know I've done my job.